Hey, what's going on guys? This video, I just wanted to talk about how you can compare two lists to see if they have the same values. So your first instinct, I'm gonna go through that and show you that it's wrong. Unless your instinct, of course, is the right way to do it. In that case, congratulations. But anyways, be sure to check out our sponsor. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so this is a mess, but I'm just gonna copy it. That way I don't have to worry about typos. Paste that in here and we're gonna call the first one grades one and the second one grades two. A lot of people's instincts would be to say if grades one equals grades two, we'll just say they're equal. You might think you're smarter and here's what you're gonna try next. You're gonna say grades one dot equals. And it see, you can see it says determines whether the specified object is equal to the current object. So then all we gotta do is pass in grades two. Let's see what we get here. Oh, still no luck. So what is the actual way to do this and why is it not working? Well, the reason it's not working is because it's actually comparing to see if they are the same entity, not if they have the same values. So we're basically checking to see if grades one and grades two both reference the same list, which they don't because we actually just created two lists with the same values. So in the situation where I set grades one to grades two, that's gonna be a little bit different. Check it out now. You can see it's equal. That's because they're both pointing to this list, but that's not what we want. We want to compare values. So the way to do this is with the sequence equals method. So that's going to look like this. Sequence equal parentheses and grades two. Now hover over the sequence equals show potential fixes and using system dot link. Beautiful. Done it run. And now you see we get the equal. So that is how you check to see if they have the same values. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to subscribe and check out the next video. Where we're going to start talking about iterating through these lists and using them in more dynamic ways. So I'm pretty stoked. See you guys then.